All right, so this video is going to um, go over um, declaring variables and assigning information, displaying information to the screen. So um, this one's called Game Stats. Um, and so again, you know, I like to, you know, focus on some reading strategies when we're when we're doing programming so that um, you guys can kind of think through how to do this so um, I guess I'm gonna close that one and I'm gonna maximize that one okay so game stats <clears throat> you know that's your circle your nouns underline your verbs so create and program um, Ask, user, enter, display, um, game stat variables, score, lives, aliens, killed, play again, shields up, engine temperature, uh, pro properly declare each, so declare variable with proper data types of so data types initialize each so initialize each variable in the classes constructor okay again so we're not going to worry about constructor again most of these most of these are used I use in my uh, Java programming class and since Java is object oriented from day one you deal with things like constructors and stuff but um, we'll get more into object oriented later in the semester so we're not going to worry about um you know um let's see here classes constructor we're not going to do any of this so i'm just going to cross it out so anyway what's the purpose it's just to display game uh stats i guess okay so nouns game stats you know that's going to be the name of our of our program. I'll call it main game stats. Um, we got things like program user, um, you know verbs ask, enter, uh, display. <coughs> we got yeah, score lives aliens uh, killed uh, play again and engine temp okay so and then there's other ones like variable not going to use that. You know, we we'll always write a program. Users always enter in information. Uh, you always, you know, ask the user to enter in information. So what we're going to do is we're going to display information, display game stats. And so I'd actually, yeah, I'd use that display game stats. And we can do this in the UML. But, and so that's going to be the name. And we're going to use all these different variables. Okay, and so now what we can do is we can turn this into a UML model, and so that's actually this right here. But I can't scroll down on uh, this thing. So if we were in this box, you know, I would put this up here, game stats, and then. Uh, um, my my function would be display game stats and then we got all of our variables so like int score uh, int lives um, int aliens killed um, char play again 
And again, I apologize for my handwriting. It's really bad. Uh, Boolean bool shields up. And double engine temp. So, you know, programming this right here is should be pretty easy just reading from this you know instead of reading all that but again I'm trying to get you guys ways you know step by step to figure out where you're making your mistakes and thinking through these things okay so um, I'm gonna minimize that because I might come back to it so I'm gonna open up my visual basic or not visual but visual studio Let's create a new project I was just do this one, so say next. So main game stats. Window. I want to do this real quick too. Window. Um, I haven't opened this. No, that's not it. All right, so when it creates your project, and I haven't, I think this is the first time I've demonstrated this because I've always had this closed, but um, when you create your project, it creates your project up here, and then your source file is this main game stats.cpp. Um, when we get into object oriented, you'll have another cpp file, and then you'll have a header file, which is a dot .h file. So um, just just to show you that. Okay, sorry, my computer's kind of running slow. All right, so, you know, using namespace std, I'm gonna get rid of this now. And so then, you know, we just got our int, um, e, minimize this again. So score and then lives. So score and then lives. And you can put these on one line. If if you got multiple ants, you can put them on one line and have a, uh, a comma in between them, separate them. So and then I'll put aliens killed up there as well. Aliens killed. And then we've got what play again. So that's going to be our char variable char play again. <coughs> bool for boolean shields up and double engine temp. And I believe that's all. Alright, so um, what's nice, <coughs> well, I mean, <coughs> excuse me, um, you can, right now, these are declared and they're in initialized, like score and lives and aliens killed. 
was zero. Um, play again, I believe, is set to just bank. Um, and um, boolean shields up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's display this right now. Just show you guys. Um, how variables are initialized when you haven't assigned them yet. So score see out um, lives Oops. lives lives. So I'll use this one. Um, what's the next one? Next one is aliens killed. And I probably want to put an end L after all of these. And then see out uh, play again. Play again. Shields up. Okay, so um, let's run this and then you guys can kind of see what happens to our variables, um, how they get initialized. <coughs> and then we'll assign information to them and then that will kind of be... Uh, uh, where did I make error list? Error. Uh, un, un, it, okay, so it doesn't even want, I need to initialize, so they want me to put stuff in there, so I'll, I'll say the score is, I don't know, 10, lives is 3, um, aliens killed, let's say is 100, and then uh, I'm going to pause it because it's getting loud. All right, sorry about that. My kids were getting too loud. So anyway, um, we made aliens killed 100. Play again. We'll just say Y for yes, and that's in single quotes. Double quotes are for strings. We'll say shields up equals true. And what will we do? Engine temp, I don't know equals 485.98 okay so let's look at this again real quick All right, so there we go. Score, lives, aliens killed. Okay, uh, shields up. It's set to one. So let's do this. If I if I said false here, zero. Okay, so. Let's do this now. <clears throat> so again, if we go back to our 
right here we got our game stats um, it's wanting to display the game stats now you know for this first chapter this right here is sufficient but again I'm, I'm trying to think ahead and get you guys to do some stuff that you're gonna eventually do anyway so and you might as well do it while it's pretty easy so right here what I could do is I could say void display game stats because that's what <coughs> we're doing here is displaying game stats and then I could um, cut that out of there and display it in here and then I could have a display game stats right there and then right here so it doesn't know the variables if I define them in main but if I define them above here you know then it could be read in main or in here if I had variables in here so I want to put a semicolon else I have a compiler there so if I run that now, it should just be the same thing, but again, I'm just demonstrating how to create functions for you guys. And again, a function is just an action word. It's doing something. You're displaying the game stats in the function. That's what it's meant to do. So uh, anyway, this video is done.